Hello lovely people. Today I'm going to do the 50 facts about me tag. I've never done this one before and I've realised that I've done a lot of like makeup-y kind of videos. Obviously it's makeup with Poppy but I thought I'd do something that's a little bit more personal this time. So here are 50 facts about me. Biggest one is my name isn't actually Poppy. Shock horror. Um, it's actually Jamie Lee which has nothing to do um, with Poppy. You can't really get that out of there, but that was just a nickname that my dad gave me when I was a baby. I come from a family of seven people, so I've got two brothers and two sisters. I have a dog called Millie, and my whole family speaks to her in this really, really weird voice. Like, I know that a lot of people do that with their dogs, but this is on like a new level. I've lived away from home for over a year in total, so I spent five months in France with a host family in year, it was like year 10, then I travelled around the world for, um, not around, around the world, around Europe for, um, for about five months, um, and then I also did a, uh, a nine week leadership camp in year nine away from home as well. I've been working for Mecca Cosmetica for over three, three and a half years and I love it. I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Business at Monash University um, and I am majoring in marketing. And I've been at uni for, I think next year will be my fifth year. Uh, I've done a lot of deferring and a lot of part-time, so I'll be finishing my course next year. I was school captain of my primary school and I was the student God, I really should know what title I was in high school. I was <laughs> SRC captain. What does that stand for? <laughs> Clearly took that one seriously. S um, student representative council? Yeah. Ooh. Student representative council captain in, um, in year 12. I get really, really nervous talking to people I don't know on the phone. I absolutely dread it and sometimes I have to like pin, like write down my points of what I need to say because I get really nervous. So eventually slash in the near future I would love to get into cosmetic marketing, hence the marketing side of my degree and then hence the makeup side of my degree that I've done. So I'd like to combine the two and get into cosmetic marketing or product development or something that is um, on the business side of makeup just because I absolutely love makeup but I also really really love the idea of either own, owning my own business or working for an amazing company like Mecca. <laughs> I have two tattoos. Um, I have one behind my ear which is a little positive sign and then I also have an Eiffel Tower on my leg. I don't actually have pants on right now so <sighs> Can you see it? Yeah, there's a little Eiffel Tower. My favourite places that I've travelled to have been Barcelona, Paris and Budapest. I have really weird bendy arms. I don't know if you can... Like... They bend. <laughs> they just bend really weirdly. <laughs> Ooh. I get really anxious when I don't get enough sleep, like if I'm having a night out and I have work the next morning, I'll leave so I get a designate, designated amount of sleep. I did psychology in year 12 and I really got drilled into me that you need your sleep, so um, yeah. I used to have scoliosis, um, slash I think I still do have scoliosis but it's nowhere near as bad as what it used to be. Um, basically what scoliosis is, is where you get a curve in the spine. So I found that out when I was about 10 or 11 years old. And I also have a tumour in my spine. Now it is benign, which means that it's not active, I'm absolutely a-okay. Um, but obviously at the time when I was um, a little bit younger, so when I was, yeah, I would have been around the 10, 11 mark as well, when I found out that I had scoliosis, um, hearing that you have a tumour in your spine isn't the greatest thing to hear. Um, but yeah, I'm a-okay. I have over 160 lip products and I'm pretty sure that I have even more than that now. Uh, when I went overseas my mum cleaned all of my makeup stuff and she said that she counted all of my lipsticks and there were over 160 there. <laughs> my favourite artist is Ed Sheeran. My parents run a tennis coaching business and centre. I have read the first Harry Potter book 
I would honestly say at least 15 to 20 times. When I was really, really young, I used to think that I was allergic to the sun uh, because every time I look at the sun, I would sneeze. Um, and later on, I found out, found out that when you're about to sneeze and then you look at bright, bright lights, that's when you sneeze. So it took me a while to figure that one out. I've been bungee jumping four times. I've been skydiving. My alcoholic beverage of choice is red wine, specifically Pinot Noir, maybe a Shiraz if I'm not worrying about my teeth getting red. I have a really, really messy room. Uh, although it may look neat back here, this took about 10, 15 minutes to clean, uh, but this area is just... <laughs> I sleep talk a lot of nights and I sleep work. So sometimes I sleep walk, but I actually sleep, I, I work in my sleep. So um, during really busy times, like when I used to work at the Australian Open when I was a bit younger, that's when it started uh, because, we, because it was like a two week stint, but you were working every single day for about nine or 10 hours. So you'd wake up, go to the Australian Open, um, work for like 9, 10, sometimes 11 hours, you'd go home, you'd go to sleep and it was that for two weeks straight. So what would happen is I would wake up in the middle of the night and think that my bedroom was a um, like a shop floor and I was at the registers and I'd literally be like, hi, how are you going? I would have conversations with people and I would put through payments and I would give them advice. Um, and then even sometimes if I like didn't have um, the right kind of clothing on at night time, um, I would actually get up and put like a t-shirt or um, pants on so customers didn't think that I was sleeping in um, just like pyjamas or something. Uh, really frustrating. <laughs> so frustrating. It still happens when I go through really busy periods at work, so over Christmas, so not looking forward to that. <laughs> because you don't even get paid for it. When I was younger, we used to have a massive hedge out the front of our house, and there used to be heaps of caterpillars in there. So one day, my brothers and I, we literally collected every single caterpillar from that, that hedge, and we sold them on the street. Um, we made the caterpillars in the hedge go extinct. They never came back after that day, unfortunately. Uh, that was unfortunate. I feel really bad about that. I am late for almost everything, every social occasion. I will not get there on time, except for work. I am always there on time for work, if not earlier. But for social things, I physically cannot get there in time. I don't know what it is, but I'm terrible at estimating time. I can't drink coffee anymore. It makes me go really angry and get anxious and I get really frustrated and I get shaky. I just can't have coffee anymore. I am mildly lactose intolerant. I don't understand anchovies. Why do people like anchovies? I cry at anything that is remotely sad or really, really happy. I got both my learner's permit and my driver's license on my birthday. My family has this really, really weird thing of everyone being born like on the same day and the same, like a day apart. So my two sisters who were born a few years apart, they're both born on the 5th of May. Um, and then my two brothers are born one day apart, separate years as well. And then what's even crazier is that my dad, my cousin and my second cousin are all born on the same day. So it's the first, the first born male on the mum's side, they're all born on the same day, three generations. It's like literally we calculated it, it's like one in five million or six million chance or something ridiculous. I have about 20 to 25 pairs of shoes, heels, and um, I only wear one pair out. I used to be able to speak fluent French. I can speak Pig Latin very, very quickly and I don't have to think about it too much. Elo hey, I may aim nay, I say oppi pay. It's a ot nay, eri ve ud gay, at bay, i a, i clay, e king spay, it a. But I can't speak double Dutch. I have this one reoccurring dream that I reckon I've had about 15 times and it's horrifying. It's a horrifying dream. It's basically where I'm in the middle of an Ontocar tennis court in the middle of nowhere that's surrounded by really big rusty gates and there is this huge Tyrannosaurus Rex in there. Um, then there's me and there's this one little set of bushes just in the corner of the tennis courts. 
And basically what the dream is, is we just, I run around and around and around and around the tennis courts while the dinosaur is chasing me. There's no way out. Um, and basically I've had the dream so many times that when I have the dream, I know exactly what to do just to cut it short. Um, I go into the bushes and I know that that's where the dinosaur eats me and that's how I wake up. I've tried pinching myself in the dream. I've tried like trying to get out. Like it just, the, I know the only way that I can wake up is by getting eaten by that dinosaur. And it's so scary. Um, but I just think it's so weird that as soon as I'm having that dream, I'm like, oh shit, not again. <laughs> I make a lot of hand gestures when I'm speaking. I used to own two bearded dragons called Lizzie and Dizzy. I put a lot of pressure on myself, but then at the same time, I like being out of my comfort zone, so the combination of those two kind of makes me do things that I wouldn't normally. I try to see the best in every situation. I have the most amazing family ever. I could potentially be living in France for six to seven months um, in semester two of next year, given that I get accepted. I know it's super dangerous, but when I get really drunk, I just chill in the shower for a while until I feel better. I have so many teas in my room just sitting up there. There's about eight teas, but I don't really like tea, but I continue to buy it anyway. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people who prefers the heat to the cold. I feel happy 95% of the time, and I don't know whether that's normal, um, but I'm just a very, very happy person. Um, and it's the best. <laughs> and that's it. So that is 50 facts about me. I uh, hope you guys learnt a little bit about me in this video. Um, yeah, now that exams are over, hopefully I'll be making a lot more videos. Um, then again, I always say that and then I don't make a video for like a month. So you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Anyway, I, um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will speak to you in my next video.